All right, let's begin. Thank you for bearing with us. We finally got the food going and we are ready to get started. Amen. We're just going to read through it and we'll take turns reading like Lee said. The so first page we're going to begin. Pesach is a very special feast or appointed time in Yahweh's yearly calendar and is described in the Torah. It memorializes the wondrous deeds whereby Yahweh delivered his people from slavery in Mitzrayim to freedom. Pesach was instituted the night Yahweh delivered the children of Yasharel from Mitzrayim with many plagues and wonders. He redeemed his people from them to honor him. We have likewise been redeemed from slavery to sin. Therefore, when we do this, let us be reminded of our own redemption through the blood of Yahusha, our Mashiach. Tonight we celebrate the Besorah by remembering the Exodus. Pesach is marked in Yahweh's calendar as a special Moed, which we call an appointed time or feast with his people. He has given us instructions to show us how to celebrate this time. The instructions in Scripture. We must observe a Sabbath on the first and seventh day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, Exodus 12, 16. All leaven must be removed from our homes, Exodus 12, 15, 13, 7. We are not to eat leaven for seven days, Exodus 12, 15, 13, 3. A lamb is offered at the place of Yahweh's name, taken home, roasted, and eaten, Exodus 12, 8. Deuteronomy 16, 2 and 3. This commandment cannot be exactly observed due to the absence of the temple. There are no sacrifices today. We are to eat matzah, unleavened bread, Exodus 12, 8, 16, 3. We are to eat bitter herbs, Exodus 12, 8. We are to tell the story of the Exodus from Egypt, Exodus 12, 25 through 27, 13, 8. Through 1415. We are to do it in remembrance of Yahusha. Matthew 26, Luke 22, and 1 Corinthians 11. So let's examine our heart before we partake of the bread and the cup. Reader 1. Deuteronomy 8, 20 to 25. And excuse me, because I don't have my glasses. <laughs> Do you want to use mine? Sure. Thank you. And when you're so asked you in the time to come, saying, what mean the testimonies and the statutes and the judgments which Yahuwah Elohuah has commanded you. Then you shall say unto your son, We're Pharaoh's bondmen in Mitzrayim, and Yahuwah brought us out of Mitzrayim with a mighty hand, and Yahuwah show, showed signs and wonders, great sores upon Mitzrayim, upon Pharaoh and upon his household before our eyes. And he brought us out from thence that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swore seven oaths unto our fathers. And Yahuwah commanded us to do all these statues, to fear Yahuwah Eluhahu for our good always, and he might preserve us alive as it is at his day. And it shall be our righteousness if we guard to do all these commandments before Yahuwah Eluhayu, as he has commanded us. We observe these instructions by getting together with family in Yahusha for his feast called the cedar or meal with structure. Let us enjoy this time of great joy and remembrance in presence of our Abba Father. Exodus 12, 1, 14 through 17. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is Yahweh's Pesach, and this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you shall keep it a feast 
to Yahweh throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Mm -hmm. Seven days shall ye eat matzah, even the first day. Ye shall put away leaven out of your houses. For whosoever eats hametz from the first day unto the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Yasharel. And in the first day there shall be a holy assembly. And in the seventh day there shall be a holy assembly to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must eat, that only may be done of you. And ye shall guard the feast of matzah, for in this selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore shall ye guard this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, King of the universe, who chose us through your Son, Yahusha, for all the people of the earth, and has exalted us among all nations, making us justified by grace and sanctified by your commandments. Hallelujah. One of Yahusha's last earthly acts was the celebration of Passover, gathering his disciples in a small room in Jerusalem. Yahusha led them in a Seder to show them that Pesach is all about him. Mm. Reader 3. Coming. Luke 22, 11, 15. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you shall say unto the good man of the house, the rabbi says unto you, where is the guest chamber? Where shall I eat the Pesach? with my Talmudim, and he shall show you a large upper room made ready the Pesach. And when the hour was come, he sat down and the 12 apostles with him, and he sat unto them with desire, and I have desired to eat this Pesach with you before I suffer. Mm. It was there in the context of this celebration that Yahushua revealed to them the mystery of Yahweh's plan of redemption. May we experience once again tonight through those object lessons Yahweh's great redemptive plan. Isaiah 53, 6. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And Yahweh has laid on him at the iniquity of us all. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, King of the universe, who has sent your only Son, Yahushua HaMashiach, to be the light of the world and our Passover Lamb, that through Him we might have eternal life. So we're going to go over the ten plagues in Exodus 1 through 12. And we already have our cups filled. So the Kiddush, the cup of sanctification... During the cedar, we drink four cups of wine or grape juice, which bring out the four things Yahweh said he would do for his people. The cup of sanctification, I will bring you out. The cup of deliverance, I will deliver you. The cup of redemption, I will take you for my people. The cup of restoration, I will be your Elohim. For every cup, there is a traditional fulfillment as well as a fulfillment in Yeshua which we will look at, starting with the cup of sanctification. With this first cup, we remember Yahweh pulling Israel out of the nations and setting them apart from the world. He remembered his promise to Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. He heard the cities for help of his people suffering in slavery, and he responded with, I will take you out. And he did take them out and made them a holy, set-apart covenant people. This separateness, called sanctification, is why Yahweh blessed Yasharel, but judged Mitzrayim. When we drink this cup of sanctification, we remember Mashiach, who called us to the lifelong path of a disciple, distinct from the world, a higher calling of disciple, and obedience and service to Yahuwah. We memorialize Yahusha's wonderful opportunity and call, take up your cross and follow me. We remember that Mashiach has taken us out of the world. As it is written, do not love the world or the things of the world. 
If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, are not of the Father, but of the world. Yahweh has called each person in this room to live a set-apart life, marked by righteousness, characterized by shalom, distinguished by obedience to Yahweh's commandments, filled up with the fruit of the Spirit, and producing good works for Yahweh through Mashiach. Lift us, let us lift up our cups, the, the cup of sanctification, and bless Yahweh for his abundant provisions and his call to all to be his people. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who sent Yahusha to be our set-apart example and redeemer. In the name of Yahusha, our Mashiach. Amen. Amen. So why do we eat parsley and salt water? Read her four. <clears throat> Exodus 2, 23 through 25. And it came to pass in process of time that the king of Mitzrayim died and the children of Yasharel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried and their cry came up unto Elohim by reason of the bondage. And Elohim heard their groaning, and Elohim remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Yitzhak, and with Yaakov. And Elohim looked upon the children of Yasharel, and Elohim had respect unto them. Let's lift up the parsley. Passover is an appointed time that comes in the springtime when the earth is becoming green with life. This vegetable called carpus represents life created and sustained by Almighty Yahuwah. Need the salt water. One second. But life in Mitzrayim for the children of Yasharel was a life of pain, suffering, and tears. Represented by this salt water, let us take a sprig of parsley and dip it in the salt water, remembering that life is sometimes immersed in tears. But we as believers look towards that to that day when Yahushua returns and wipes away all our tears. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the earth and brings life and joy from sorrow and pain. Please, Yahushua, return quickly. Now let us eat together this carpus. Why do we eat matzah tonight? On all other nights we eat bread with leaven, but on Passover we eat only matzah, unleavened bread. The reason is because the children of Yasharel fled from Mitzrayim in haste as commanded them. They did not have time for their dough to rise. Instead, they had to eat it baked flat. Therefore, Yahuwah commanded them to always eat the matzah as another way to remember their deliverance from Egypt by Yahweh. So everybody grab a piece of matzah and you can split it if you need to. And there should be some every so often all the way down to you. Right. And we can actually all recite this last the, the prayer if you would like, the blessed part. Okay. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim. King of the universe, who redeemed us by the blood of Yahushua, and who has instructed us to eat matzah in the name of Yahushua, our Redeemer. Traditionally, three matzahs are laid aside on a separate plate to remember Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. We see these as also as a remembrance of the Father, Son, and Ruach HaKodesh, who play a role not only in Yashorel's deliverance, but also in ours. I will now break the middle matzah. We 
Reflect on Yahusha and his sacrifice upon the stake that he is now at the right hand of Yahuwah and will return. Mm -hmm. So now we all need to refill our cup. And make sure you're drinking your whole cup each time. We'll do it four times so you don't have to fill it all the way, but enough to drink four times. Which is why we have grape juice and not wine right now. <laughs> <laughs> Next is the cup of deliverance. No one would be leaving. Have you ever experienced a difficult time in your life? In such times, we call out to Yahuwah for help. We may be at the end of what we can humanly do. Humanly do. We don't know how else to fix the situation except to cry out to Yahuwah. This is what the people of Israel did in Egypt. Being worked to death in a burning desert for hundreds of years, people were losing hope. At that point, all of Yahuwah's promises must have seemed ridiculous. That old promise that would make them into a great nation must have seemed laughable. Then Yahuwah intervened and performed a divine reversal. Instead of a forgotten people dying in a desert, Yahuwah puts on a show of divine power. His right arm barred from everyone to see. Miracles worked one after another. Judgment brought on the captors. Release and favor on the captives. This was the salvation of Yasharel that was to be remembered for generations to come. This was the deliverance of Yahuwah's people that became etched throughout the scriptures, ingrained even in the Ten Commandments, which begin, I am Yahuwah, your Elohim, who brought you out of Mitzrayim and delivered you from the land of slavery. As we drink this cup of deliverance, let's remember that Yahuwah came through. He didn't disappoint, and he made good on his promise to deliver Israel. Let's remember that Yahuwah also kept his promise and sent Yahushua HaMashiach, his own son, his Yahid, who delivers us from sin. We will overcome even the difficult circumstances in life because he will deliver us. As Yahushua encouraged us, saying, Have no fear, I have overcome the world. <laughs> Let's remember, trust, and believe that everyone who puts his trust in Yahuwah through Yahushua will not be disappointed but we'll see in his own life Yahweh's complete and total deliverance. Amen. 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 Yeah. <clears throat> Reader 5. Reader 5. Reader 5. Romans chapter 11, verses 25 through 27. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part has happened to Yasharel, until the fullness of the other nations come in. And so all Yasharel shall be saved, as it is written. There shall come out of Sion the deliverer, and shall turn away wickedness from Yaakov. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. We are now going to bless Yahweh for the second cup of wine, the cup of deliverance. Let's raise your cup. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who brings forth the fruit of the vine and delivers us from bondage to sin. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Amen. Why do we eat bitter herbs? Reader 6. Exodus 3, 7 through 10. And Yahuwah said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people, which are the Mitzrayim, and I've heard their cry by reason of their task, taskmasters, for I know their sorrows, and I am come down to deliver them out of the hand of the Mitzrayim, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land and a large uh, unto a land flowing with milk and honey, and to the place of the Kenyaim and the Chidaim and the Emoraim <laughs> and the Perizim and the Shivaim and the Yevakim 
Now therefore, behold, the cry of the children of Yasharel is come unto me, and I also, or I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Mitzrayim oppressed them. Come now therefore, and I will send you unto Pharaoh, that you may bring forth my people, the children of Yasharel, out of Mitzrayim. So let's lift the bitter herbs, the horseradish from your plate. And it doesn't take much. No. It doesn't take much? It's very no. spicy. It's hot. Very hot. On all other nights, we eat all kinds of vegetables, but on Passover, we eat bitter herbs. As sweet as our lives are today, let us still remember how bitter life was for the children of Israel in the land of Egypt. So we'll put the bitter herbs on the matzah. As we scoop bitter herbs onto a piece of matzah, let us allow the bitter taste to cause us to shed tears of compassion for the sorrow that our ancestors knew thousands of years ago. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, King of the universe, who sets us apart through your word and has instructed us to eat bitter herbs in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. And now we can... <laughs> Just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Reader 7. Uh, Exodus 15, verses 22 to 26. And when they came to Marah, they could not drink of the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore, the name of it was called Marah. And the people murmured against Moshe, saying, What shall we drink? And he cried unto El Yahweh, and Yahweh shouted and showed him the tree, which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made for them a statue and an ordinance. And there he proved them and said, If you will diligently hearken to the voice of Yahweh, Elohim, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments <coughs> and guard all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon you, which I have brought upon the Mitzrayim. For I am Yahuwah from Baker. <laughs> Thank you. Through the crucifixion upon the tree, Yahusha washes us clean of the bitterness of our iniquities. John 1, 29. Behold the Lamb of Elohim, which takes away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. The Passover Lamb. This would be the time they would eat roasted lamb, its blood which marked the doors of the houses of the children of Israel, signifies their obedience to Yahweh's command. The lambs shed blood redeemed the firstborn of the children of Yasharel. In the afternoon of the day of the Passover meal, the lambs were taken to the temple to be sacrificed. This was the same time Yahushua was nailed to the stake, the tree. So through his shed blood, death would pass over us. Exodus 12, 3-14 Speak ye unto all the assembly of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house, Take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating should make your count for the lamb. Your lamb should be without blemish. A male of the first year, you shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats, and you should keep it up until the 14th day of the same month. And the whole multitude of the assembly of Israel should kill it in the evening. Exodus 12, 7. 
and they should take off the plot and strike it on two side posts and on the upper door post of the houses, wherein they should eat it, and they should eat the flesh in that night, cross with fire and matzah, and with bitter herbs they should eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden, at all with water, but roast with fire, his head with his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And he shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remains of it until the morning, you should burn with fire, and thus should you eat it, with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, mm -hmm. and you should eat it in haste. Mm -hmm. It is Yah Yahusha special. For I will pass through the land of Mr. Jesus this night, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Mr. Jim this night. <clears throat> and smite all the firstborn in the land of Mr. Jim, both men and beasts, and against all the Elohe of Mr. Jim. I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh, mm. and the blood should be to you for the mark upon the house where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over. Mm -hmm. And the priest should not be over you, destroy you. When I smite the land of Mizraim, and this day should be unto you for a memorial, and you should keep it a feast to Yahweh. Through, the, through your generations, you should keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Amen. 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 Like the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Yahusha is a sign over the doorpost of our hearts. He sent Yahusha HaMashiach to be our Passover Lamb. We, just as Yasharel were delivered from the yoke of slavery, can be delivered from the yoke of sin and eternal death. When Yahweh sees the blood, he gives us eternal life instead of death. This is a free gift of grace that we cannot earn. That's right. mm -hmm. The children of Yasharel were also instructed to eat the Passover in haste, their loins girded, their staffs in their hands, their sandals upon their feet, awaiting departure from the bondage of Mitzrayim. Today, we all may recline and freely enjoy the Passover. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, King of the universe, who has given us rest through Yahusha HaMashiach. How great is Yahuwah's goodness for us. For each of his acts of mercy and kindness, we declare, it would have been sufficient to say that in Hebrew, you say, Dayanu. If Yahuwah had merely rescued us, but had not judged the Mitzrayim, Dayanu. If Yahweh had only destroyed their Elohim, but had not parted the Red Sea. Dayani. If Yahweh had only drowned our enemies, but not fed us with manna. Dayani. If Yahweh had only led us through the desert, but had not given us the Sabbath. Dayani. But Yahweh blessed be he, provided all these blessings for our ancestors, and not only these, but so many more. Now, Yahusha is enough. Dayanu. Blessed are you, Yahweh, King of the universe, for you have in mercy supplied all our needs. You have given us, Yahusha, forgiveness for sin, life abundant, and life everlasting. Hallelujah. So now we are going to eat the meal. We will have a prayer. Yes, please. All right. Heavenly Father, we are so blessed and humbled to gather here this evening under your Pesach, under the blood of the Lamb, your Son that you sent for each one of us to cleanse us from who we were, that we be made anew, that we be made a new creature in you, that our sins be turned white as snow, that the blood of your Son covers us, that we are forgiven. We're just so grateful for this opportunity to gather in your name to give you glory for this feast day, that we are called apart, 
set apart from this world. We want to be obedient. We want to honor you with all of our words, thoughts, and actions. Let us bear the fruit of the Spirit. Let us be the light in the world that we can shine into the darkness and that others can find your path through our example. We're so grateful for the example that your son left for us, for us to follow. Let us become less so that you can become more. In your son's Yahushua HaMashiach's name, amen. 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 So we'll finish the rest of it after we eat. All right, so we have finished our meal. So we're going to look into the bread, which is representative of his body. We are now going to partake of the bread and the final cup that represents Yahusha's body and blood. Shaul reminds us in 1 Corinthians 11 that if we have something against a brother or a rebellious or unclean heart toward Yah, we should not partake of this part. If that is the case for you, please don't eat or drink the cup for this part. 1 Corinthians 11, 27 through 30. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of Yahuwah unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahuwah. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eats and drinks unworthily eats and drinks damnation to himself, not discerning Adonai's body. For this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. This piece of broken matzah reminds us of Yahusha, who was broken for us, and whom all men are seeking will come again. In the way the matzah is baked today, we see another picture of Yahusha. See how the stripes remind us of Yahusha's suffering being whipped. Reader 10. <clears throat> Did you already read? Okay. Isaiah 53, 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. <clears throat> the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Amen. See how the matzah is pierced, which can remind us of Yahusha's pierced hands. Around this. No, we'll just eat the ones on our plate. Okay. Yeah. So just eat your own matzah. <laughs> Luke twenty two nineteen. And he took the bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave unto them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. First Corinthians eleven twenty three and twenty four. For I have received of Yah that which also I delivered unto you. That Yahuwah Yahusha, the same night in which he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Mm -hmm. You may now eat the bread. The cup of redemption I will redeem you, the cup representative of his blood. This is the cup of redemption symbolizing the blood of the Passover lamb. It was the cup after supper which Yahusha identified himself. Just as the blood of the lamb brought salvation in Mitzrayim, so Yahusha's redeeming death can bring salvation to all who believe. Repent and follow him. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. When we drink this cup, we remember Yahusha's blood flowed for us. Luke twenty-two twenty. 20. 
Likewise also the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the renewed covenant in my blood, which is shed for you. First Corinthians eleven twenty five. After the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the renewed covenant in my blood. This do ye, as oft as ye drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us lift up our cup together and bless the name of Yahuwah. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, our Elohim, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine, in the name of Yahusha, our Messiah, whose blood was shed for us. You may now drink the cup of redemption. And it says fill the cups again. And we can go ahead and start filling up. One more. The cup of restoration. I will take you as my own people. Reader 12. As it is 19, 4 through 6, we have seen what I have done unto you the tree, and how I bore you on people's wings, and brought you upon it myself. Now therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed, and guard my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which ye, you shall speak unto the children of Yahshua. The hope we have as disciples of Yahusha is the hope promised in the scriptures. Yah Yahusha will restore all things to their pristine state, turning evil on its head, rewarding the righteous, and setting things straight. Yahusha will bring every act of every evil act of man, men come to judgments. Do we see confusion amongst secular people in the media and even in the church? Yahushua promises he will seal up the deceiver, cast him in the lake of fire, and Satan will no longer be able to deceive the national. Major. Illness. Yahweh has promised that when the kingdom of heaven arrives, disease will be taken away. <clears throat> Suffering. Yahweh will wipe every tear from your eye and remove pain and suffering. Hallelujah. Old age and fertility. Yahweh will raise us up on the last day with new immortal bodies, and we will reign with him in Jerusalem. Yes. In this final cup of Passover, the cup of restoration, we remember that he kept his promise to restore Israel. Yahweh came through and restored the people to the glory he promised them. Abraham's seed, the Hebrew people, saw Yahweh at work, restoring his people to their honored state as kings and priests of Yahweh, mm. making a reality his promise of a great nation through whom all the families of the earth would be blessed. The Yahudi nation and people are still alive today as a testament to Yahweh's faithfulness, Amen. and he is faithful to keep his promise to restore the rest of the lost sheep of the house of Yasharel one day. This is promised to be an exodus so big that the first exodus will not even be remembered. Mm. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Yes. <laughs> Reader 13. Jeremiah 16, 14 through 15. Therefore behold, the days come, say Yahweh, that it shall no more be said, Yahweh lives, that brought up the children of Yasharel out of the land of Mitzrayim. That Yahweh lives, that brought up the children of Yasharel from the land of the north, and from all the lands whether he has driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Amen. Yahushua did not drink this final cup of Passover. He said, I will not drink of this cup until it finds its fullness in the kingdom of heaven. That will be the day when Yahuwah wipes every tear from our eyes, takes away suffering and pain, and causes death itself to die. Amen. He will resurrect all of his holy, faithful children to reign with him and bring a new earth, a new heaven, and a new Yerushalayim. Then Mashiach's name Emmanuel, Yahweh with us, 
will have its full meaning when Yahweh dwells with mankind and restores creation itself, making all things new. Hallelujah. It is with thanksgiving that we are now going to drink the fourth, the last cup. So let's raise our class. Blessed are you, Yahweh, our Elohim, King of the universe, who always fulfills your promises. We look forward to the full redemption of your all your people and the restoration of your name upon the earth. In the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And to close, I want to bless all of you. Numbers 6, 24 through 26. Yahweh bless you and guard you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Yahweh lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. Amen. Amen. Amen.